Hi, I'm Paula McIntyre and uh, you're very welcome to the kitchen of Quilly House, which is just outside uh, Coleraine on the road to uh, Castle Rock. So um, I'm going to be cooking a Christmas dinner, so I'm going to start with the starter. And I'm going to do smoked salmon from North Coast Smokehouse. And uh, rather than doing um, you know, wheat and bread, I'm going to do some crackers. So in here I've got uh, half wholemeal flour, half plain flour. I'm going to use some, season it with some salt. And this is uh, mustard and sea salt so from the north coast. So mix that in. So a good teaspoonful of that. And then make a well in the centre. And then what we'll do is we'll add uh, four tablespoonfuls of oil. So I'm using the Reuter Gold Rapeseed Oil. Um, so Richard and Leona that, really that make the rapeseed oil also own Quilly House. So they're, we'll have to use this, but it's beautiful anyway. And uh, so four, about four tablespoonfuls of the, of the oil. Leave it for luck. And then we're going to do, um, because it's gone with fish, this is a uh, Lakata, it's their um, dulse stout. So we're going to put in about 150 mils of that, just see how that goes. And bring that together into a dough. Uh, if you don't like stout, or you don't, you don't think you like stout, it does cook out in the cooking, but uh, you could also use um, just water, just cold water. There we are, so that's a, uh, but I can say that's a lovely smell first thing in the morning, so that's, that's great, right, so that's, so what I'll do, I'm just going to take some flour, just lightly flour on board, I'll take a wee bit of this, take half of this, and then we'll just flour it and just knead it together slightly, and I'm just going to cut these into crackers, so just, um, so it's like a wee bit like pastry and we just want to keep moving, keep moving the dough so just so it doesn't stick. So keep moving it round. Add another wee bit of flour if you need to. And we want to get these as thin as you can. If you don't feel confident about rolling anything like this out, put it in between a, you know, a sheet of parchment paper and it will not stick on you. So just keep moving it. I'm going to just get this really nice and thin. Looks good now. Because it's Christmas, we'll use wee star cutters. And just onto a bacon tray lined with parchment paper. You do any shape you like, obviously. And the good thing with these, you can make these up beforehand. And they're a wee bit different. Um, they kind of taste like wheat and bread, but um, they're nice and crisp. And I like something nice and crisp, you know, with a with smoked salmon. Right. A few more, and then okay. Right, that should do us. And we'll, what we'll do then? Before we put it into the oven, just um, we'll just take a wee bit of a wee bit of oil. A wee bit down here. So just. Brush a wee bit of oil over the top of them very lightly. And then on top of that there now, you can just leave that as, as they are. But mustard and sea salt also do this salt and it's got a dehydrated kelp in it. So you can put that in as well. Um, or you can just put in some seeds or anything at all. Doesn't you know? Just you can leave it as it is. But you know, sometimes we put sesame seeds on them, or we black onion seeds, and that's it. So into a nice hot oven, about two hundred degrees, and they're going to take about uh, fifteen minutes. So the, the crackers are ready, They're, uh, I just took them out of the oven, let them cool down for a bit, so really nice and crisp. And then we've got a smoked salmon here, but the smoked salmon is, a, is hot smoked salmon. So this is it's from the North Coast Smokehouse in Ballycastle, uh, made by uh, Ruri Morrison. It's Glenarm organic salmon from around the coast, so it's, and it's a hot smoked salmon. So it's, uh, it's completely cooked, um, he cures it and then and smokes it, but it's, uh, it's lovely. And, so we've got some here and we're just going to do some stuff with this. So 
Um, I like uh, smoked salmon with radish and with beetroot, so we're going to do that. Um, I've got a wee pickling liquor here, so it's uh, sort of equal parts um, sugar, uh, vinegar, and water, and then bring that up to the boil, season it. So that's our pickle liquor. So pickle anything, you know, if you want to do carrots. So got the wee radishes here, so I'm just going to quarter them. I'm going to put them into the into the liquor. We're, not, we're going to just going to be a quite a quick wee one here. So um, and then we'll just take the. Do you don't want to leave these too long because they start to get um, sort of a funny smell <laughs> after a while. So if you if you pickle them maybe for 20 minutes, and then take them out of the pickle. Okay, so that's that. And then we've got a wee bit of shallot here as well. So that can just put a wee bit of that and just into the and break it up into the wee rings. And that just goes in as well. I'll leave those for a wee second while we do everything else. But that, that shouldn't take long because you know just sort of like nearly like an instantly pickle. But you could do this up in advance, you know, get your pickles, get your sauces, everything into the fridge and then have it ready. Um, so that's that. So then the sauce that we're going to do, I've got some sour cream here, just sour cream. I'm going to season that with a bit of uh, the mustard and sea salt. Another thing that really does is uh, smoked black pepper. I love it. It's brilliant. Uh, it does a smoked salt as well. Smoked black pepper just really adds to to things so and it's lovely with the smoked salmon so just a black pepper in that that'll mix around and then some horseradish as well so just nice dollop of horseradish into that horseradish smoked salmon are lovely together and then we're going to add some beetroot and that beetroot and horseradish is perfect so we've got our salmon here and we're just going to dress our plate so the other thing i have here is beetroot so I've got some uh, lovely beetroot, it's from uh, around the coast of McGilligan. So what I did was uh, just give it a good scrub clean, put on a bit of tin foil, a uh, bit of bit of Leona's oil, a bit of the rapeseed oil, some salt, wrapped it up really tight, put it into the oven and roasted it. And it saves you having that whole um, carry on when your house is all steamed, you know, when you boil it. So we'll just take, I've just sliced it then, peeled it and sliced it. And we'll just take a nice wee sort of star shape, sort of to tie in with our or crackers as well so and it's Christmas so you have to have a if you can't have star shaped beetroot at Christmas when can you have it and I mean the other thing that you could do here is I've got a wee bit few wee trimmings we obviously won't throw those out but what I would do is maybe tend to um, puree those up give them a wee whiz or um, just chop them up uh, put, put them in a pickle the wee bit the wee trimmings um, to have on Boxing Day you know with your with your uh, leftovers of your ham ham and pickles lovely together right so that should be so that's our wee beetroot stars there okay so just want to um just take the take some of the wee beetroot and just put it down the side here and then we'll take the bit of our horseradish cream and just spin that over the top okay so that's our horseradish there and then if we just take some of our wee pickle here and just put that on top it's a pickle so that's our wee pickle shallot or onion, you could use a wee bit of onion if you want it. So just the shallots are just a nice size. Some of our radish there as well. So you can sort of see immediately that's taking up that nice wee bit of pinkness on it. And you get a lovely crunch with this as well, so it's just it's good and then a completely different texture with the with the horseradish or, or with the beetroot. Okay, and then what these are um from North Sparren farm these are uh, just micro herbs so this is um, red amaranth and these are red veined sorrel so um, Maliki Smith that runs it has uh, got an online shop now so you can buy herbs fresh herbs are really lovely and they just you can't buy these in the shop so this this red veined sorrel for example is like really um, 
really tangy. You know, it's, uh, and it's beautiful. It looks, I think it looks lovely as well. So we'll just put a wee bit of that onto our, and it goes really nicely with the, with the salmon as well, because you want that nice wee bit of zing as well. So you're getting some of that from the, from our, from the, the wee pickle liquor as well. So it's very important that you, you know, we, you, you cook that or you, you have that, you know, we have la salmon with, or lemon with salmon. Well, this is uh, just something a wee bit different. And then just some of our amaranth there. That there so you could even you could do this up beforehand have your salmon ready like that there and then um, this is two portions by the way or, or one very generous portion um, so you could just uh, have this all ready like that in the fridge and then just bring it out because I, I quite like to have a lot of things done um, I know we're not going to be cooking for as many people this year but it's just always nice to to have things and then just take a wee bit of um, black pepper as well just just a wee tiny bit, just over the top here, just, just tiny, just a wee, just round our plate. Just back in. So that's our, that's our North Coast Smokehouse Smoked Salmon, and we've got our um, horseradish cream, we've got our beetroot, uh, we've got our radishes, and we've got a wee bit of smoked black pepper from the same place and just the lovely North Sparrow Farm herbs. And then our crackers using the Lakata Dull Stout. So what I would say you would do is just put that on a plate, have a wee bit of that, mush it up, cut it up, have a wee bit of the cracker on the side. There you are. So that's our starter. And if you want to come back, we've also got, uh, we've got other videos to do with uh, the main course, some of the vegetables and also a nice alternative dessert to Christmas pudding.